message they come out from the free town city council. The council say for tell we all say, we'll make them able for do their work 551. We all for pay with tax. Dirty business na free town don't become alarming. And for make we tap that and save life, free town city council they ask all man not for to wait dirty not to eat. Especially we in the camp. Fumble. This is in a season. And where you throw it out in a treat, this they cause flooding. We go make we lost lives and properties. Therefore, Freetown City Council they ask all man put you dot in a bag. Now that make we work man the day all about the city. We clean the city day and night. So that we go avoid disaster. On the first of March there was there was a a memo or letter sent, you know, to all councils, all 22 local councils across the country, uh, requesting that the mayors and chairpersons should step aside and the administration should, should take leadership, you know, during the course of this transition. So during the course of this transition, what we were able to do was to put together a team and to see how we can focus our, our resources on sanitation, which is one of our key responsibilities. And then one of the strategies we, we introduced was the, the, night, the night cleaning operation. Right? So, and it has been very much of success to a very large extent. Because now if you go to a Lomley market, for instance, before now, you, you see a spillover of garbage right? during, during working hours. Now if you go there, we, we engage those areas within the course of the night. And by the time uh, we, have, we experience the morning hours, all of these areas are, are, are free from, 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 from garbage or fields. You go to, uh, for instance, the bottom mango you know, uh, area, all of those areas are very much kept, very clean, very much sanitized. The same applies to Levuma, the same applies to Rickings Road, the same applies to Hill Court Road, uh, the Presidential Lodge, Eastern Axis, and the Central Business District. So what we have realized that this exercise has been very much productive, and we just want to, to nice actually for us to, 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 to do a kind of symbolic you know, uh, uh, program to, to bring all of my staff together, including the, the Metropolitan Police, the, the, the core staff of council, the support staff. All of us are here tonight to see how we can do a massive cleaning tonight. Fumble, do ya with the big, the all man bagging dirty. And also, with the ask for make everybody pay in tax. Pay in tax because that the money they are so go able for develop and do we work well well at Freetown City Council. This current moment here we did under the administration of the chief administrator, Wayne Festus Kaledi. First, first, first and foremost, if you look at the, the hillside bypass, if you look at the, the, the model, the model junction, that was a place where people used to, to litter garbage for a very long period of time. If you visit the, the, the model junction, it has been free of garbage for the past two weeks. Right? And we've deployed metro there on a consistent basis. Now, now what we are trying to do is to ensure, also ensure that there's a metro post right at that particular location. If you look at the, of course we, we know when, when, when once we, we experience rain, people normally, if you look at the topography of Freetown, I mean it's, it's, it's kind of complicated. So people living uphill has the tendency to, to, to dump their garbage when once it rains. So we have a rapid response that has always been coming out to ensure that we, we, we clean up those, those debris or garbage when once we, I mean, I mean the, the rains occur. But I can tell you quite frankly, uh, if, if, you, if, you, if you do a, a walk around the, the model axis, right across to, to Brazak Junction, it's, it's relatively clean, right? This is a daily, we're doing it on a daily basis. We know we have, we have to expect screen. And this is why we're asking for more support, more resources, so that we can actually uh, spread out our, our, our energy, our, our, for as long as we have financial support. But I can tell you quite frankly, on the overall, overall, we've done extremely well. We are not going to stop until the next mayor comes and with, 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 with the set of councillors and we, we hope they will adopt the same strategy because it's working, right? I mean, th think about L Lomley Market. I always make reference to Lomley Market. Before now, you, you see the garbage, I mean, sitting there, spilling over on, at, 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 at the skip bins, but you can't, you can't find it. Since the inception of the, the, the transition period, when uh, the chief administrator, the head of the council, we don't do a lot of activities then, and one of the main activities is the sanitation. And under the sanitation, the night cleaning, and one of the things that, that we will passion with the chief administrator and team, the administrative team really get passion for, so that we will ensure say free time clean, and especially this night rainy season, it's not flood. And we all remember say before this time we get illegal dump sites then a place this time with the ISOs. And we don't make sure under this um, activity as so for this night cleaning, 
not only nice but even daytime with the continue the same with the pickups and with the pick the dirty there up and create a good woman um we don't ensure so we don't clean the illegal dump sites where people be don't create in a certain community system one big one at the one we be doing along negligence road by the hospital a very huge pile of garbage in there and the people that don't make illegal dump sites will be the affect service delivery it cause a lot of trouble in that area we don't clear that under this transition period not only that we don't also um clear the abadin the abadin um, bridge also they get illegal dump sites there if you go there now, you don't go find dot CD. A huge dot C will be piled there and it can, we can focus to a lot in terms of fear, in terms of resources and manpower. The council, they undergo transition and we get a lot of challenges, especially for funding. Therefore, we ask to fumble them for make them pay the tax them. Any tax we don't see for pay to council. Be it local tax, market use, business licenses, property rates, NGO, CBO registration and even renewal of CBO registrations, customary marriages, fines and other charges, and even cemetery fees them that we pay to cancel the account number. Then we will go can cancel office and they will kill the account number where you will go pay the money there. So that just to show some of the things that we we'll don't do under the transition period where the chief administrator and team, when are the administrative team they in charge of the uh, Freetown City Council. And coming down to the east end of Freetown, we're not able for clear the same illegal dump sites in our we will remove it. You know, the boundary between the and west end of the state council that will reach that Joey bridge day. We get a pile of garbage, huge dots where people have done some uh, 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 dump sites, not some bombing. So all the bomber sites and now we people they don't create for themselves. We don't play at that and we they on mopping up. Then there's a rain come, we see the kind of dirty we in our return. We don't do relentless efforts with the team of sanitation, the sanitation team and administrative and everybody where they on board for ensure safe free town clean. We don't ensure safe, we don't play free town. So always we continue for Teluna is do yellow we manage to dot them for avoid disaster, especially this rainy season. We don't see the tendency for layering come and layering be very heavy with breeze a day. We don't see the signs then this May. We don't see the signs then this early in where they fall. And we expect more. So do your family. Save life, save property. Not to wait in our water, not to wait in our teeth. And not only that, also pay you revenue, pay you tax. That tax will be paid, now you will be able for help for what we do with work power. If you don't pay your tax, you know, our council will not be able to get money for the work. So we do the tax, we will pay with tax then to you. And let we manage with dirty well. And let we left for cut trees, then let we left for block the, the seaway, the waterway, for block for build holes, for put structure there. You know, fine. Where the water can, you know, get passage, you know, get away for pass. It bounce back, and where it don't bounce, now in the cause flooding. So do cancel the big old man for let you add here, and let me do the right thing so that the city will become clean, and we don't get disaster this 2023. We are paying you tax. We get garage. We pay you tax. So then we pay you tax.